Hello, my first graders. Today we're working on lesson 6.6. .6. That's page 361 in your math book. So if you're not on this page, pause and find it now. Okay, so again, today we're dealing with more tens and ones. We are going to use this little chart to help us. Remember how I usually make my TO chart? Well, they have their own tens and ones, right? Usually I do this, TO, tens, ones. Okay, so we are going to show the number 23. So in the number 23, how many tens and how many ones? Well, we can write it, can't we? 23. So how many tens are in 23? Two tens, three ones. That's what makes 23. Well, how do we show 23? Well, if it's two tens, how many tens do we make? Two. How many ones do we need? Three. Now we drew 23. I'm going to show you what that looks like using our cubes okay, or our base 10 blocks. We have two, right? Two, two tens, right? Which two tens means groups of 10, two groups of 10, and three ones. So here's my loose ones. One, there we go. Two tens, three ones. That equals 23. We can count them. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right. Let's turn our page. Okay. So on the next page, as you can see, we're going to be using our tens and our ones. It says in the the two in the number 24 means two tens. So here it is right here, two tens. The four is four ones. That equals 24. Okay, so in the number 22. So remember, just like we talked about, right? We can separate tens and ones, right? Two tens, four ones, tens, ones. Then it can be drawn out. Two tens, four ones. Right? Two tens, four ones. It equals 24, right? Together, it equals 24. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Then they show you another example over here. 42. The two in 42 means two ones. So here it is. Here's 42, right? T-O, four tens, two ones. That makes the number 42. Four tens, two ones. Great. So it matters which way we write our numbers. We need to make sure, right? Look at this picture. This has a lot less, doesn't it, than this one. Right? It matters what order we put our numbers in. So we need to be careful that we make sure that we're looking and thinking about which one's in our tens place and which is our ones place. So let's look down here. We are going to work on writing our numbers. So look at our picture here. How many tens do we see? We see three tens. One, two, three. So we're going to write that down. Three tens. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five. Five ones. What number did we make? What number? When we put the tens and the ones together, what number is that? Thirty-five. Three tens and five ones, right, is thirty-five. Do you see our number? Right, when we split the digits up, right, but it's thirty-five. We can also count that. Ten. 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Great. Look over here. Look at our picture. How many tens do we see? 
two, one, two, two tenths. How many ones are there? Nine ones. When we put that number together, two tens and nine ones, what number is it? Twenty nine. And we can check that. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Two tens, nine ones makes the number 29. If you're having trouble thinking about it together, you can always make your TO chart. Two tens, nine ones. What number are you looking at? 29. All right. My first graders, I want you to try number three and I'd like you to try number four. You're telling me how many tens in the picture, how many ones, and what number did you make? Same thing over here. Hit play when you're ready to check your work. Okay, if you're hitting play, you're ready to check. How many tens? Well, there were four tens, right? These are our tens. How many ones? Three ones. We put that number together, four tens, three ones. 43. Look at this one. How many tens are there? One. How many ones do we see? Four. We put that number together. We make the number 14. All right, my first graders, if you made a mistake, pause and fix. All right. I'd like us to go over here. I would like you to do all of these. Do five, six, seven, eight. When you're finished, hit play to check your work. Okay, remember tens, ones, how many all together? Hit play when you're ready. Okay, if you're hitting play, that means you're ready to check your work. Okay, you should have your answers in. Three tens, there's three. How many ones? One, two, three. Three tens, three ones, what number do we make? 33. Remember, we can check by counting. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. All right, how many tens? Four tens. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. What number? 46. Okay, how many tens? Five tens. How many ones? Zero. There's zero ones. So what number do we make all together? Five tens, zero ones. That's the number 50. Okay, so hopefully you didn't get tricked on this one. So remember, there's no ones. We need a zero there. Okay, look here. How many tens do we have? <gasps> Wait a minute. We have no tens, do we? So we have no tens, right? There's, you don't see any of these, do you? No, so we have zero. How many loose ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five loose ones. Now here's the tricky part. There are no tens, there's only five ones. What number is that? If we count them, how many do we have? We only have five. We do not need to use the zero to tell what number we have for this one, because when we count it, one, two, three, four, five, there's only five. When we write the number five, we don't need to have the zero. All right, look at number nine. If you need to pause to fix something, go ahead. Mary drew tens and ones to show 32. She made a mistake. Draw a correct picture to show 32. Write the number. Okay, so here is Mary's picture. She did not do it right. Look what she did. So let's think, how would we draw 32? How many tens are in the number 32? Well, if we're not sure, right, can we separate it? T-O. How many tens that do we have? Three. How many ones? 
32. Or number 32. Okay, so when we draw this, how many tens do we need to make? Three. One, two, three. How many ones do we need? Two. Oops, I'm drawing. Should be drawing squares instead. All right, and what number did we make? Three tens, two ones, that's the number. 32, right? We take the number, we put it together. We can count it, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. All right, now that we made our picture, let's look at what Mary did. What did Mary do wrong? Remember her, has a, she has a mistake, it's not right. She has two tens. Oh, how many tens should she, was she supposed to have? Three, so she's wrong because she's missing a 10. Look at her ones. She has three ones. How many ones do we need to have? Two. Hey, she made the number two tens, three ones. She made the number 23. She had her number backwards. She messed up her tens and her ones. All right. When you're ready, turn the page. Look at the back side. Solve. Write the numbers. I have 46 cubes. How many tens and ones can I make? So when it says 46 cubes, it's like saying you have 46 of something, okay? It's, it's just a number, right? I could have 46 pennies. I could have 46 cubes, right? But if I want to put that into groups, let's think. Let's take the number 46. How many tens are in the number 46? Well, if we're not sure, I could put my TO chart if I need to around it, if I need to do that. How many tens are there? Four tens. How many ones? Six. So 46 cubes, I can make four groups of 10 and I can make six ones. So I just took my number. So when they're talking about cubes or pennies, right? It just means there's 46 of something. And just look at that number 46 and think how many tens are in there? How many ones? How about this one? I have 32 cubes. How many tens and ones can I make? So look at our number 32. How many tens are in the number 32? If I'm not sure, some of you know it. And some of you might need your TO chart. So think, how many tens are there? Three tens. How many ones? Two ones. Three tens and two ones. And look, there's my number 32. I want you to try this one. 28 cubes. How many tens and ones can I make? So if you need to use your TO chart, you can. But take that number. And decide how many tens and how many ones. Hit play when you're ready. All right, you ready to check your work? 28, there's two tens and eight ones. When we look at that number, there's our number 28. All right, think smarter. I am a number less than 50. I have eight ones and some tens. What number could I be? So this could be many different numbers. So let's look at this. I am a number less than 50. That means I'm smaller than 50. I have eight ones and some tens. So let me make my TO chart. TO. It says I have eight ones. So in my ones place, I'm gonna put the number eight. If I have to be less than 50, right? Less than 50, hmm. What number could I have in the tens place? Could I have a six? Could it be 68? Is that less than 50? No, that's too big, right? So I need a number smaller. 
So instead of having a five in the tens place, what's a smaller number than five? Yeah, could be four, right? Is four smaller? So if I put a four in the tens place, look at my number now, 48. Is 48 smaller than 50? Yes, yes it is. It has less tens. So 48 could be the number, but guess what? There's other numbers it could be. Watch this. T-O. I'm going to put my 8 back in my 1's place because it said I have to have 8 in my 1's place. It could be 48, right? Because 4 10's is less than 5 10's. What's another smaller number than 5? Maybe even smaller, smaller than 4. About three, is three smaller than five? Yep, is three smaller than four? Yep. 38, is 38 smaller than 50? It is. It could be this number. Good, guess what, we're not done yet. T, O. I'm gonna put my eight back in my ones place because it said it has to have eight ones. So I tried four, I did three. What else could I do for tens? Four, three, Two. Two tens and eight ones. 28. Is 28 smaller than 50? It is. So 28 could be the number. But guess what? I'm not done yet. <laughs> Look at this one. Here's my TO chart again. Eight in the ones place. All right. I tried four tens, three tens, two tens, one ten. 18. Is 18 smaller than 50? It is. Very good. Now, let's think. Hmm. That's as small as I can go because it says that I have to have some tens. A number smaller than one would be zero. Zero tens means I have no tens. And that wouldn't work with this problem. So my number could be 48. It could be 38. It could be 20 or it could be 18. It could be any of those. So pick one of them that you want to use and write it in the line. All right. Last. Let's check out our problem. There are 35 cubes. Juan, Juan says, not Juan, John, John says, that there are three ones and five tens. Rob says there are three tens and five ones. Who is correct? All right. So we, there's 35 cubes. So here's my number 35. I'm going to just write it over here. Okay. We want to know how many tens and how many ones are in 35. So if I need to, I can put the TO chart if I don't know. So how many tens are there? There's three tens. So let's see, who is it the person that said there are three tens? Juan says that there are three ones and five tens. Is there five tens? No, there isn't. So Juan's not right. How about Rob? Rob says there are three tens. Oh, are there three tens? Yes, there are. And five ones. Oh, yes, there are. So who is right? Was it Juan or was it Rob? It was Rob. Rob said there was three tens and five ones. So Rob is correct. How can you draw 35? I want you to show me your, your tens and your ones. Go ahead and draw your picture in here to show 35. If you're hitting play, you drew your picture. You did your longs and your ones or your tens and your ones. So you should have three tens and five ones. Okay, 35. Three tens, five ones. All right, boys and girls, you're going to use your personal math trainer.